Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Harry's full speech and there was an Archie mention. And, the moment Meghan introduced her husband on stage and Archie, Lily mention. Now, it is my distinguished honor to introduce someone that I think you'll all be very excited to hear from. He has also spent many late nights and early mornings planning for these games to make them as perfect as possible for each of you. I could not love and respect him more, and I know that all of you feel the same because he is your fellow veteran, having served two tours of duty in Afghanistan and 10 years of military service. He's the founder of the Invictus Games and the father to our two little ones, Archie and Lily. Please welcome my incredible husband, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. Hello everybody, and welcome to The Hague, finally. <laughs> God, I've missed you all. And I tell, you, I tell you what, and people around the world have missed this. The boundless humility, the compassion, and the friendship that is Invictus. I want to personally thank the people of the Netherlands for welcoming us with such warm Dutch hospitality. And thank you to the Dutch government, the Ministry of Defence and the Dutch royal family for the support in making this all happen after a two-year wait. <laughs> the world needed to be reminded of the power of the human spirit, the ability to heal and the strength of resilience that allows us to recover and come back stronger. And we're doing it here, in this moment, in The Hague, on the shores of global justice and peace, and it could not be more fitting for the message that we have for the world. Your stories inspire people to believe in themselves. Your actions prove the impossible is, in fact, possible. And your continued service encourages others to give back and serve in their own way. With whatever you carry, with whatever may weigh you down, it is here at the Invictus Games that you realize it wasn't a weight after all. It was the springboard that propelled you to the next level, to being the best version of yourself, the version of yourself that you missed, that your spouses missed, that your parents and your kids missed. Well, welcome back. You, every single one of you is back. You are part of the Invictus family, and we not only respect and salute you, we see you. Look no further than our representation from Team Ukraine. Your bravery in choosing to come and for being here tonight cannot be overstated. You told me yesterday when you decided to join us despite all odds, you said you came to be on this global stage not simply to show your strength, but to tell your truth, the truth of what is happening in your country. You know we stand with you. The world is united with you and still you deserve more. And my hope is that these events, this event, creates the opportunity and how, of how we as a global community can better show up for you. So tonight, I trust that you all see what I see the heart of the warrior beating strongly. Because to be role models, or the role models that each of you are, takes strength and it takes courage. 
when I talk to my son Archie about what he wants to be when he grows up, some days it's an astronaut, other days it's a pilot, a helicopter pilot, obviously. <laughs> or quasi from Octonauts. If you're laughing, then you've seen it. But what I remind him is that no matter what you want to be when you grow up, it's your character that matters most. And nothing would make his mum and me prouder than to see him have the character of what we see before us today. You. You, as a community, have overcome immense challenges. And together, you are healing and teaching the world as you go. And you, as individuals, are people of substance, of resilience, of strength, and of heart. You have the heart of Invictus. And your collective stories will be woven into the history books. And for that, we thank you. We thank you for cementing in us the unwavering knowing that with courage, you can overcome anything. So, Invictus, are you ready? No, 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 no. Invictus, are you ready? That's better. So, bring on the games. Most importantly, have fun. Quick disclaimer. Everything in this video and all of my videos are my opinion based on detailed research that I perform. That said, I would recommend doing your own research before you make up your mind. Thank you. Ten ways siblings Archie and Lilybet are actually so different from each other. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have their hands full now that they are parents of two, but what do we really know about their children? What are two-year-old Archie and baby Lily Bet, Lily Diana, really like? Are they similar or are they different? They certainly got off to very different starts. Archie was born in the UK. Archie Harrison, Mountbatten Windsor, was born on May 6, 2019 in London, England. At that point, his parents were both senior members of the royal family living at Frogmore Cottage on the Queen's Windsor estate. So Archie's birth was met with the usual pomp and circumstance. Official statements were issued regarding the birth of Prince Charles's fourth grandchild, Prince Harry spoke to reporters in the hours. After Meghan gave birth, and the couple introduced their newborn baby boy to the world mere days after his arrival. Lilybet was born in the USA. Lilybet's birth on June 4, 2021. However, was vastly different. Her parents simply released a statement via their spokesperson letting the world know of her arrival. A spokesperson for the couple said in a statement, It is with great joy that Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, welcome their daughter, Lilybet Lily Diana Mountbatten Windsor, to the world. Lily was born on Friday, June 4 at 11.40 a.m. in the trusted care of the doctors and staff at Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital in Santa Barbara, California. She weighed 7 pounds 11 ounces. Both mother and child are healthy and well and settling in at home. That was it. No press corps, no photo ops. Nothing. Archie had a christening with the royal family. Archie was christened in a private ceremony in July 2019 with members of the royal family in attendance like his Aunt Kate Middleton and Uncle Prince William. As far as the world knows, Lilybet has not yet been christened. Lilybet's name was incredibly royal. While Archie's middle name is quite literally son of Harry, Harrison, his first name appears to have been a personal choice for his parents without any real connection to the royal family. Lilybet, however, has a super royal name. Her first name is also the beloved nickname of Queen Elizabeth, while her middle name Diana is, of course, in honor of her late grandmother, Princess Diana. Archie has met the royal family. Archie might have been just a wee baby, but he has, in fact, been introduced to most members of the royal family. His grandfather Prince Charles, for instance, and his great-grandmother Queen Elizabeth. Lilybet, on the other hand, might have been seen on a video call by the royal family. But she has never been in the same room as any of them. 
well, other than her cousin Princess Eugenie and Eugenie's one-year-old son August, who visited the family earlier in 2022. Meghan and Harry have only shared one photo of Lily Bet. The only official photo of Lily Bet was released as the family's Christmas card for 2021. Archie, of course, has not been frequently photographed either. But when his parents were senior members of the royal family, there was certainly a greater expectation from the public that he be photographed. Archie has been on royal tour with his parents. One such occasion, when Archie was photographed was when he joined his parents on a royal tour of Africa in the fall of 2019. He had the chance to meet Archbishop Desmond Tutu. And also got to look adorable in his old-fashioned baby outfit. Lily Bet was born after her parents stepped away from their royal roles, so she's never done a tour with them. Lily Bet's parents both took parental leave. After Meghan welcomed Archie, she took a few months off from royal duties while Prince Harry got right back to work. For their daughter, Harry and Meghan were both able to take parental leave after the birth of Lily Bet in June, which gave them more time to hang out as a family at their California home away from prying eyes. Archie is a Taurus. As a Taurus, Archie could well be someone who is patient, relaxed, and trustworthy. All good traits, of course, but ones he will not share with his little sister since she was born a month after him. Lilybet is a Gemini. The little Gemini of the family could well be curious, high energy, and love to travel. So it sounds like we might have a dependably little boy and an excitable little girl on our hands here. Should be quite an adventure. Stop. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more LMT videos about the royal family are coming soon. Subscribe to LMT channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.